Hello everybody, my name is Zara and today we're beginning a new series of videos inspired by Lent. Lent is a time of year when Christians often try and give something up, but it can also be a time to try and do something new, to work on being kinder and more generous and that's something that we can all think about doing, whoever we are. Now, inside Westminster Abbey, this beautiful church where everybody is welcome, over 3,000 people are buried and remembered in this space, people that have helped shape the world that we live in today. And over the next few weeks, we're going to be thinking about acts of kindness and generosity carried out by some of the people that the Abbey remembers and using these acts as inspiration for our own lives. Now here's John Blow. John Blow was Westminster Abbey's organist and he's buried in Westminster Abbey today. John Blow had a really important job because the organist works with the choristers and is a really key part of services. And John Blow was also a teacher and one of his students was Henry Purcell. Henry Purcell was a really talented musician and John Blow noticed this and thought he was so good that he gave up his job so that Henry Purcell could be the new organist. Henry Purcell then went on to compose and arrange beautiful pieces of music that were used at special events like coronations in this important role. Now, John Blow isn't the only person to give up their job for a student. Here is Isaac Barrow. He was the very first Lucasian professor of mathematics at the University of Cambridge, and he made studying maths commonplace at the university. And Isaac Barrow had a student who's a very famous scientist. You might know a story about this scientist. An apple fell from a tree and sparked some inspiration for him. Yes, that's right, it's Isaac Newton. So Isaac Newton went to lots of Isaac Barrow's lectures and Isaac Barrow really helped Newton with his studies. And when Isaac Barrow gave up his job, his professorship, he recommended that Newton take on this role. And when Newton did this, he lectured his students about optics and light. Stephen Hawking, who's interred at Westminster Abbey, also took on this role years and years later. Now, can you think of a time when you've acted with kindness and generosity? How did it make you feel? Let's be inspired by these stories. What can you give up for someone else? Perhaps it's your time or a toy. Maybe it's a bad habit. Do share your acts of kindness and generosity with us using hashtag VabbyFun if you've been inspired by these stories. If you want to make a donation to Westminster Abbey, you can donate five pounds by texting Abbey to 70025. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you very soon. Bye bye.